Whatever I'm teaching you, I am educated, I'm trained, and I globally do what I'm talking about. I work with only top executives. I work with top executives globally. I have experience in whatever I'm sharing with you. Wherever I speak, I don't speak for people to like me. Let me put it on record. I speak to disturb you. I speak to make you uncomfortable so that you can take action in 48 hours. If you think I walked in here, then I'm gonna impress you and you're gonna like me, think again. No, I didn't come here for that. I came so that you will be disturbed to take action. That things I will say here, you already know. There are things I will say here, it will remind you. There are things I will say here, it will shock you. There are things I will say here, it will help you. It all begins with paying attention, being willing to do something. I told my friends, I said, before the end of the year, I am putting down four, five books. And they said, you're going to do it as I talk to you right now, four down, one to go. The question is, what are you hungry for? Some years ago, I was hungry to meet Les Brown and I was chased back where I was going. I was too hungry to be rejected. A year after that, I was on the same stage with Les Brown. Three years after that, I was on the same stage with Robert Kiyosaki and the rest. Question is, how hungry are you? What sacrifice are you willing to make? My education has gone as far as Harvard University. I went there, got certificate in coaching neural leadership. How do I help you to understand how brain affect leadership and whatever you're doing? It is what sacrifice are you willing to make? The reason why Africa is not doing well is very simple and I'll tell you why. Africa, we are full of emotion, feeling, what they did to us, what we did to someone, how someone talked back on us. When we sit down at home, what do we discuss? We discuss politics, but you're not a politician. You discuss reality TV show, but you're not part of it. <laughs> you run home because you don't want to miss a TV program. There's a difference between an actor sitting down to watch a television and you that is not an actor sitting down to watch a television. One is growing, one is dying. Is there anything wrong with television? No. Choose programs that help you to go to where you are going. That's why I ask you, where your hunger coming from? What is your hunger? Where do you want to see yourself develop? What sacrifice are you willing to make now? In 48 hours, what can you sell? In 48 hours, what can you do with what happened here? Otherwise, this organization and the sponsors will have wasted their time. It will be part of what a wonderful seminar. I saw somebody write on Facebook, yo, uh, 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 thank you, Sam. I saw somebody, I didn't ask you to jump. Somebody said, yo, thank you, thank you. My problem is not the thank you. My problem is, what are you doing for 48 hours? You've got to be urgent. I've got to do something. How many of you have had dreams over the years and the dream keeps coming up every year saying, I? I. Are you alive? I didn't say raise and I said say I. I. Say I like you are alive. Say I. I. Why do you think that dream keep coming back and nothing happened? But this time last year you made a plan. How many of them have come to pass? Sacrifice, sorry. Almost half, good. Sacrifices you're willing to make will determine what you're going to see. I said to you, we always talk about emotion. We always talk about feeling. Emotion is going to go to talk about emotional intelligence. 
But why do we Africans keep talking about feelings? What people do to us? Have you ever noticed that every time you finish discussing or listening to radio shows, you end up being angry the whole day? Yeah. The conversation did not stimulate creativity. It stimulated emotion that got you nowhere. You even use your phone and the little air time you have to call radio station to air your opinion. There's nothing wrong with that, but did your opinion change anything? You just wasted money. So let's begin today. And let's begin to surprise you. Every what is that? No, I don't I don't show protection here. Thank you. You are being nice suddenly. <laughs> What are you hungry for? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You look so ugly when you don't laugh. <laughs> All right. Where do we start? Let's begin with this. Between the rich and the poor, success and unsuccessful, great people and ungrateful people, there is only one word. It is called happy. It is habit that determine everything about your life. Your greatness, your failure are traceable to habit. If you are not yet there, check your habit. There's an advocate that for years she said she wanted to write a book. She enlisted as one of those to join my holistic class. I tried a new one begins today. Once I leave here, I'm going to meet with the guys. In less than two months, she has two books coming out. A woman brought her teenage son to me with a little problem. Of course, father was not there, walked away and all that. He was starting to lose it, and we sat down. And I coached him. Two months plus, he turned 16 last month. On his birthday, his first book came out. Like I said, it's to push you to be 10 times better. The time you've been entertained should be over now. Entertainment will never pick your bill. It picks the bill of who entertains you. But it doesn't change your personal life. Where is your hunger? What are you hungry for? What sacrifice are you willing to make? I noticed a company in London that was there this year, and I noticed that they do coaching program. And I said to myself, these guys have done so well through the years in their marketing, their strategies. What will it take for me to learn what they have? And I called them. They told me they were running a conference, a training program. I said, are you going to certify people after they said yes? I picked my ticket, I was on my way to London. People will think, you have so much money. No, it is sacrifice. It is what is it that I want to see happen in my life. I can use that money to buy a Versace suit. I can also use the money to educate myself. I can still use it to entertain friends. What sacrifice are you willing to make for what you want to see happen? It doesn't matter what anybody teaches you this day, uh, today, tomorrow, for the rest of the program, right up to Sunday. If you cannot make sacrifice, it will be a waste. It's a guarantee. Last month, I was able to produce my own fragrance, my perfume, almost sold out. In fact, I took samples in the United States, it actually sold faster in America. You wear it two days, it's still there. When you sweat, it comes out. It is not luck, it is not magic, it is what sacrifice are you willing to make? Where does your hunger lie? Who do you need in your life for what you want to do to heaven? Let's begin here. Who are you? That's where it begins. Who are you? How much do you know of yourself? 
How did you get to know about you? What instrument did you use to get to know you? Who speaks into your life? Who mentors you? Who coaches you? Who tells you you are out of order? If you notice globally, a lot of top executives are making dumb mistakes. Because when all that surrounds you are people that celebrate you all the time, and there's nobody to create what we call safe psychology to tell you this is wrong. You will make a mistake. And the same people will abandon you and look for somebody else to replace you. The question is, who do you go to sit down and say, what do you think about what I'm about to do? Who can tell you honest opinion that you pay because it doesn't come cheap? Who can, who can you go to and know, hey, I need to learn? I have a friend who went together in Harvard. He's the owner of a company called Guru Maker in America. Guru Maker coaches White House, American Air Force, American Navy. All his books are bestsellers. All. His name is Harrison Mona. We were in class together and trying to be friendly. And I, I, I got friendship, but I left it then. I was home in Boston, and I was looking at something. I said, okay, let me really look at this company of this guy, because I didn't really know much about him. When I opened the internet, I discovered who I met. I placed a phone call to New York immediately. I said, do you have time for me? He said to me, on this day, I have one hour for you if you can come. I flew straight from Boston. I went over to New York. Why? I needed to sit down with someone who has achieved 10 times more than what I'm trying to do. My pride would have said, what do you mean one hour? I need one minute is enough. And guess what? While we were meeting, he was canceling his programs and meetings. He said, Rich, I want to give you the time. And when I got the perfume, the guy sat with me because I have a class that we bring ideas to them. And I said, this is what I got. And I told them my pride. They said, sell off what you have now. But now raise the standard and change your packaging. This is the price because we love the quality of your fragrance. This is the price you're going to sell it. And when you sell at this price, people who say it's expensive, let them know you did not produce for everybody. Who do you stick to? Now, if I did not make a sacrifice to attend a class in Harvard, I would not have met people like that that would be able to sit me down and say, you're not getting it. One time they said to me, no, you were stressing yourself. This is the new technology for one, two, three. Are, you are we together? Yes. What sacrifice are you willing to make? A lot of you here want to do business, do business, and you want to do well. Say I. I. No, you all come alive. Say I. I. How many of you want to be successful? Say I. I. It all comes down to one thing. It is called personal development. Most people are growing business more than they're growing themselves. That's a tragedy. Have you noticed how many superstars that collapsed because of foolishness? You know why? Because they develop the business so much that the personality holding the business cannot handle it. So sometimes you are going for opportunity, you are going for promotion, you are going, but the person going for these things is not developed enough for the opportunities. So the opportunity becomes bigger than you because you've not developed for it. So when you get in there, you start making mistakes. Here is my suggestion, I don't give advice. <laughs> Here is my suggestion. Work more on you. Develop more of you than that job you're developing. 
It is who you become that attracts success to your life. It is your growth level that determines how you're going to go. As I talk to you right now, Nigeria, I don't think you know that, Sam. Nigerian government has approved that I can now give diploma certificate accredited. Now, the executives I'm working with from today, three months I'm done with them. Guess what happens? I'm done. Now, 10 Invention University certificate is going to come on it. University of Abuja certificate is going to come on it. And we are now working hard for Boston University to come on it. By the time they are done, I believe those things are going to be on it. And we are done. It has taken a long time coming. The good news is that you don't need to leave Africa to be smart again. Yes. Mm. Somebody asked me the other day, what is your qualification to coach people? I said, I have seen you attend conferences and I saw you run in front to swipe your card. You paid close to 50,000 bucks to one guy that didn't go to university. Because he flew in from the United States. Did you ask him? He said no. I said, let me see your qualifications for me to answer you. If your qualifications is up to nine, ten years ago. I said, what is your problem? When you see an African, you got a problem with that. When you see someone from another place, they got an answer. You never cherish your own. That's where your own is never good enough. Yeah. Can I tell all of you what place Nigerians got it right? Nobody promotes Nigerian music more than Nigerians. Yes. Exactly. Nobody demotes South African music more than South Africans. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't support one another, you're not going anywhere. If you are uncomfortable with my growth, I will be uncomfortable with your growth. At the end of the day, none of us will grow and will continue to serve. <laughs> what sacrifice are you willing to make? What are you willing to give up? One of the classes I wanted to attend three years ago, I didn't have the money. It was expensive. If you want, I can give you the name of the person I joined the class. And if you doubt, I can give you, I have to give you the number, call the person, if I pay that amount of money. I took my Mercedes Benz and I sold it. All the money, I put it there. The car you drive will lose value. Mm. Knowledge will never lose value. Oh, yes. <laughs> Once I was traveling overseas, my sister got me to the airport and she packed my things and I had excess, I don't travel with excess luggage anyway. I had excess luggage and she said to me, what are you gonna do? Let me remove the books, they're too heavy. I said, no, reduce the clothes. He said, what? I said, reduce the clothes. He said, but what are you gonna wear when you get there? I said, by the time wisdom begin to speak, they will not notice my clothes. I said, just leave black suit Navy blue suit for me, white shirt and another shirt and a shoe it is enough. I don't need to change suit. When a man changes the color of his shirt and puts on the same black suit and white suit, you wouldn't notice nothing again. <laughs> if I show up with a purple suit and I repeat it the next day, you're going to be in trouble with me. <laughs> Most of us can move forward because of our pride. Mm. How do you mean by my pride, Richie? Your pride is you don't want somebody to laugh at you in case you fail. Mm. And who are you uncomfortable that was going to laugh at you? It is somebody doing nothing with their own life. Sure. Where do you want to develop? I begin by telling you something new. You've got to have something better than being great. It is called having mastery. Someone say mastery. 
Somebody say mastery. mastery. If you don't say that to me, I will bring you down to talk on stage now. <laughs> I coach people on public speaking. I train you how to rule your stage, how to govern the stage. It doesn't matter whether you plan to speak or not. They tap you, you know what to say. You know why? Only jokers prepare to speak when they're invited. Wise people prepare without invitation. It will come. And when it comes, you're already prepared. How many times have you seen me put up slide? Have you seen slide going up? It's not that slide is wrong. Have you seen slide going up? There's no need. Why is there no need? I don't study to teach. I study to be better. So out of abundance of what I've studied, I communicate. Because they've worked for me. How many books have you read this year? How many books have you bought this year? How many seminars have you attended this year? I don't know the industry you're going into, the industry you are in. Who are the industry catalysts? Who are the people that when they speak in that industry, something shapes? How many of their books have you read? How many of their seminars have you attended? When was the last time they spoke and you listened and you read what they talked about? Only ones you are not important in that industry. You gotta have what we call mastery. Somebody say mastery. 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 Emotional mastery is important. I'm punishing this guy. He's gonna keep turning around. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have what I call what emotional mastery. Emotional mastery is important because it is about how you behave. It is about how you feel. It's about how you do things. It's about empathy, about how the other person feels. If I can recognize your pain, if I can recognize your time of joy, it's important for me to notice you. It is being aware of your presence and how you feel. Why are you bending your head? I'm not asking you questions. <laughs> are you with me? It's about noticing you are there. Now, why did I say emotional mastery? If you recollect, there was an incident, I think two years ago in America, United Airlines, where a man, a Chinese man, was dragged on an aeroplane. I don't know whether you watched that. He was dragged on an aeroplane. The whole world started screaming. Immediately, the CEO went and made a statement, a dumb thing to do. He said, I support my staff. They did things according to the book. But you forgot that when lives are involved, emotion is involved. It is no longer according to the book. It is according to the moment. Because what he... These guys are not responding. Let me come to this guy. <laughs> what he forgot to do... I like your smile. <laughs> there is something that is called neuro neuro. It is if you maybe because if I say local football here, some of you because you you support this one or that one, you think I'm an enemy of the other one. So let's use Manchester United. At least nobody hears from me. Okay. <laughs> when your team is about to score goal. Does anybody phone you to say, jump up? <laughs> I'll come and talk. Does anybody say, it's time to jump up? <laughs> Does anybody say to you, it's time to dance? <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> Have you ever watched the movie that made you cry, Sissy? <laughs> no, I'm asking some of you. <laughs> Have you? Yes. Or you don't cry? Okay. What made you cry? I was overwhelmed by emotion. Oh, God, I love that. Overwhelmed by emotion. Do you know the guy that did that movie that made you cry <laughs> in another film? <laughs> Is it true? Is it true? Especially the one that you didn't know they're going to die. 
what, what is that funny movie? Um, this guy was on a boat and they were singing song and then the other jokers were dying and then uh, the music. Titanic. Yeah, Titanic. <laughs> you know, those guys were, were on the boat. Please get out, use this, don't be angry with me, please. They were playing music and they were singing and dying. They were playing music and singing. They were not Africans. No African will die like that. They should not be singing and dying. No, no, no. They are not Africans will jump. They will do what they gotta do when they gotta do what they gotta do. No, what African? What? What? <laughs> And then you, you are sinking and you are dying. And then, and then, what's the name of that silly boy that, that took his stuff and gave to the woman and said, I love you. I love you. No, not an African. Love you what? I, there's nothing like I love you here. No, there's no love in this one, my friend. No. Die is die. So there's no love to me. I'd rather be alive and tell how much I love you. That's why cowards stay in front of their houses to show you where great men were buried. They're still alive. I said something about what the CEO didn't understand. What's your problem? <laughs> He doesn't want you to sink. <laughs> I'm not sinking, man. I'm not crazy. We're sinking for who? So we call it neuro mirror. Neuro mirror, like I said, when you watch football, somebody jumps, you jump. You watch a movie, somebody's crying, you're crying. You know why? I feel what you feel. Mm. It is the most powerful thing that the maker of the universe put in all of us. A, a man was, a woman, an old woman was crying. And, and, and one guy walked up and was like, man, what is the problem? What is the problem? And she kept crying, and she kept crying. And if, if you were there, and you see an old woman crying and crying and crying, what would be your next reaction? What would you start doing? Come on, guys, what would you do? You cry, don't pretend. I'm not going to find you guilty. You start crying. So when the, the, the guy started crying, he said, Mama, can you tell me what exactly is going wrong? She said, no. That I saw that man with long beards. It reminded me of the goats my husband gave to me that left the house. But what was important, you react to the same thing. I'm still talking about the CEO of United Airlines. Now, he didn't remember that the globe is one. And everybody felt the pain the man felt on the plane. And everybody began to react to what he has done. And immediately he lost respect globally. The first thing to do is not to jump with your emotion. It's to have stability. If you have a coach, call your coach. This is what I'm about to do. What do you think? And you can now sit with someone that will check, is it okay? Let me shock you. Or not shock you, because you can't be shocked anymore. There's nothing I put on a social media that I don't have about three people vetted before they go out. Somebody got to vet the language. Somebody got to check if it corresponds with my brand. Somebody got to check the dots, the is, the words to be sure they are right before they can go out. And it is not the same day. It may take about two, three days after which it can go out. That's why a lot of people make mistakes. I was on the train yesterday. I noticed, I don't know what is this latest thing with girls. This picture they like to take. <laughs> and and I was just watching the ski. And what was she doing? <laughs> then the next thing was she moved up her stuff, scared a little bit, and then she took a picture, very deceptive, because when the picture landed, you actually think she's wearing nothing. 
And I'm sure she sent it somewhere. And what you don't know was the story of Vanessa Williams. The worst woman in America. It was just a young woman going into modeling. And somebody said, take a nude picture. And she took a nude picture. And what happened when she became Miss America? The person pulled the picture out and she lost the crowd. The good thing about her was she had emotional stability. She could not stop. She started going for auditioning. She did not change the family phone line. It was a national disgrace. But that disgrace still had grace in it because she refused to give up on herself. She was too mature inside that the external did not destroy her. When a boat is sinking, all you need to do is to find the source that brings the water in. Close the source and the boat will sail. She continued, she went to Broadway and she auditioned for a role and she got the role. The producer saw the name and said over her dead body, will she give Vanessa Williams a chance? She didn't give up. She never rejected herself. The worst emotional embarrassment is when they rejected you, you reject yourself. Because deep in you, you depend on people. It's called human dependency outside of who you are. You've not developed you so strong that you can be by yourself. It took a while. I like that. I'll give you one of my books. Who are you giving the books to? Okay, I want her to get one. Okay. Can you stand up? Stand up. Yes, of course. Why are you shocked? Let's give it to her. We'll sign for her. You get it too. That's because you're developing a habit. The habit of success without your know. Now watch what happened. Over time, Vanessa Williams started getting roles in the movies. From there, her music became all the best everywhere and so on. Are you aware, two years ago, the CEO of Miss America brought Miss Vanessa Williams and publicly apologized to her for what they did to her. She became a member of the panel to decide who was gonna be Miss America again. What if she gave up on herself? Question here, where and where do you give up on you because you've not ever looked to you? <laughs> now look at this. I will ask you this question. Not one person has an answer to it. Who was 2017 Miss America? 2015? 2014? There is only one Miss America by Mrs. Williams. That's the only Miss America the world remembers. The only one people still call Miss America. Why? She didn't give up on herself. She was emotionally stable, beyond the storm. Why did I say this? The young woman must have been posting the picture somewhere. And she's forgetting that whatever she has said to somebody will never be retrieved again forever. Executives, leaders, tomorrow, future people, what picture have you sent out that you wish you can retrieve? I like that laughter. Some of them are real ouch laughter. I'm, I'm talking to you. Because if you've not developed yourself enough, the way you feel is the way you write. The way you feel is the way you do that. Emotional mastery. The next one is communication mastery. How do you communicate? That's why I take time to do public speaking boot camp. If you want to attend any of them, Brassam is here, give your details to him, and I will get in touch with you. But Dr. Richie, how much does it cost? It's expensive, I promise. <laughs> if it's cheap, everybody will be there. Like the executive coaching I do, I take only eight people. You know why? You will meet your mate. So you won't finish as somebody's asking you for money for chips. <laughs> the people I met in Harvard have been doing so well. It took me time 
to put resources together to get to that place. And when I got there, I was able to match up because we found ourselves in the same environment. The difference between who you meet in a nightclub and who you meet in a classical music hall is that one will take your call, the other one will say to you, I'm busy. Which one was I'm busy? Yeah, because you were both drunk that time. <laughs> so, what is the next mastery I mentioned now? Communication. I didn't hear you. Communication. How you communicate? What are you writing on social media? Some of you are going to go for visa. Some of those things you wrote will be the reason they will say no to you. Because now you give them access to your social media account. They will check what you've been saying. Most of you, before you go for job interview, they've already checked you out. What do you support? What do you argue for? What do you argue against? They got to take all these things before they bring you in. So some already failed before they started. Communication master. When you open your mind, what comes out? If there's nothing intelligent to say, pretend you're quiet. <laughs> Have you entered a meeting where somebody is just quiet and nodding head, wearing glasses? Everybody always believe this one is intelligent. Am I right? Until they open their mouth. <laughs> and you wish they were quiet. Because they were more respect when they were quiet. Remember, we don't have all the time in the world. I can't teach you everything, but the second one is what? It's communication mastery. Now, the most critical, I'm going to say, I will stop to answer question because I may teach for the next two hours and you won't get anything by just smiling and looking at me. I will, if I put financial, it's going to go too high. Let me just bring it down to money mastery. Money mastery. Money mastery, so are they selling these drinks? No, no sir. No, sir. Yeah, because some of you have fun. Nobody could even say to me, don't you want a drink? How come nobody opened it? You, you, you're just blind. You're just blind. OK, it's called blind sports. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you see the sport to remove it? <laughs> I want you to take your time to write this one down. That's why I'm quiet. If you're not a professional speaker, you won't even drink anything. Because you want to keep talking. And you think the faster you speak, the more they respect you. Okay. Financial or money mastery. I will help you with the simplest way to do it. Remember I said in the beginning, Africans would like to talk about emotion and feelings, right? Okay, let's put it this way. Are you aware or are you trying to be aware that... Okay. Are you aware that you spend according to your value? Do you know that? You spend according to your value. You invest according to your value. You buy according to your value. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way again. Let me take it deep now. Um, thanks. It is an alarm. It's okay. Okay. Did you write it down? Because it's going to help you. Sorry? Is it something? Huh? Financial mastery, yes. But I've gone past that one. You're not here, you're in the mall. You're shopping. When now you need to come back. Okay. When you spend time with friends, and now and then you're talking about the latest phone. Let's say it's LG. Let's say it's Apple. I don't know what phone you use. Some of you are using phones technology left behind. 
when you talk about it over and over and over and over again, and money comes into your account, what do you think you're going to do? <laughs> A lot are talking about the latest TV, the curve TV, the this TV. And you are spending time with friends. And everybody is talking about all your friends, all your girlfriends, your boyfriends, and all your... What's this one that men do for little girls? What's they call them again? Bless us all your blessings that are <laughs> Now, when money comes to your account, what do you think you're going to go to buy? Bless it. You go and buy the television, right? Because you also want to belong. And everybody's talking about the latest car she bought. The latest car she bought. The latest car she bought. When money comes, what are you doing? Because you want to meet up. Because everything is about how you feel emotions. But well, watch this. If you spend time with people that I just talked about, the last investment I made, just paid 200,000. The other one I made, just paid 1 million. When they pay you your bonus, what are you going to do immediately? Yes. You're going for the investment. Right, is it making sense? Yes. So, what, sorry? Works. Yes, whatever. What is your value? And every value you have, you have principle strong to support it. You don't need encouragement to do it. You are never too late to act on it. For me, education is paramount. So when money comes, my desire is, who has what I need? Where can I find them to invest and develop me? As I talk to you, all the schools I will attend next year, I will already apply to all of them. I'm ready for next year to begin. Are you listening? It is not to add certificates, no. It is, I need to be better all the time. The future will reward those that are adjusted and developed and got further. The future will punish those that have refused to change. If you doubt what I'm saying, ask not here. When they heard that Apple was coming, they did nothing. If your skill was, how many of you remember sign writers? You know those guys that do sign and they put it with ink? And you know sign writers? Yes. If that is your skill today, how much will you have in your pocket? Your behind will be so broke. Because nobody needs you anymore. Maybe you are one of the best. How many of you remember electric typewriter? If that's your skill, will you have a job today? You'll be shocked that the world is not willing for you. Is moving with or without you. Come back. How do you want to develop your finance? Who do you have around you that have what I call hunter's <coughs> mindset? A haunted mindset is the one that gets it, eat it, spend it, go for another one. That's why if you're one of those that before the second week of a month, <laughs> let me not finish, you know what I'm saying. It means that you are an endangered species. And don't think I'm joking, because if anything happens to that job, Will you still have your house? Will you still have your car? And for ladies, because I don't want to look at anybody when I say this. Will you still have the Wivan? Because you're still owing Edgar's. Some of you, your hair you're owing. Some of you, even your fake nails you're owing. It's true. If that is your condition, it's time to come back. 
Tell somebody, it's time to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Say, I'm here. Nobody's going to read you. Say, it's time to come back. Yeah. Say, don't look at me. Look at someone. <laughs> I'm not coming back. I'm talking about you. <laughs> By this time next year, how much do you think you want to have in your bank account? You don't need to tell me because what you're going to say is a fantasy. You said that last year. Because for me to know you're serious, I need to see your program. That's why when I coach executives, they know I'm not playing. It is that I, I ask them because when people finish, they need to show me their dream and what they want to achieve. They paint these pictures, they bring it and look at them and laugh. I said, this is complete nonsense. I said, I'm not looking for pictures. I need to know where you're going. I need to know the obstacles you assume you're going to meet on the road. I need to know what strategies do you have to overcome those obstacles. I need to know who is taking you by the hand for you to go the way you're going. I need to know why you are doing what you're doing. Because why you're doing it is the petrol. When you get tired, there's a reason why you keep going. I need to have all this on a paper. Don't give me a picture of a beach. Don't give me a picture of a building. It is nothing but a fantasy. Give me practice. The reason why Africa is poor, leadership, education, and lack of productivity. If you go to the port, airport, Durban port, always notice how many containers that come. Are they not full? Go and watch those ships leave. How many of them are full? Africa is a consuming continent. We pray more than all the continent. We drink oil more than all the continent. We eat grass more than all the continent. We eat snakes more than all the continent. We even share scorpion more than all the continent. Why are we not moving forward? Because you cannot. Let me have, anybody got a drink? Let me have this. But, yeah, okay, let me actually have that one. I'm not going to mention the name, but you know this name, right? Mm -hmm. Who functions this company in Africa? Africans. How come not Africa knows how this is produced? Because the secret is with the owners. You get, it has been through generations. Anybody got water here? Thank you. Anybody got water even if it's empty? There's water over there. Remember I said I challenge, I don't need to black me. We go and give money for special water. How many generations would you offer blessed water? How many children would you teach success with drinking water? Principle is what makes greatness. What principle are we handing down? When Uncle Joe died, the business closed because Uncle Joe did not teach nobody how he made the business. How many shops did you notice when you were young, we are all buzzing and doing well? All of them are closed today. In fact, the day they die is the day the battle begins. Why? Because we don't transfer skills. We transfer emotion. We transfer feelings. We transfer how you made me feel. You transfer how you talk to me. We are not transferring skills. We are not transferring productivity. People pay you for what you produce, not how you feel. That's why you can't go to any bank and they say, we have $100 for you because we like how you feel this morning. <laughs> Keep your feelings if your feelings can help you to get to the next level. Amen. What will you produce for people to buy before the end of next year? Are you with me? Anybody here knows what a balloon is? You know what a balloon is? Anybody seen red balloon before? Say I. I. You are so done now. I'm almost done. Say I. I. 
Aye. Anybody ever seen white balloons say aye? Aye. Now you're black people. Anybody ever seen black people say aye? Aye. <laughs> Have you ever seen a balloon go up because of the color? They all go up because of what is inside. You don't rise in life by skin color. You rise based on what is on the inside of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some of these jealous dumb people can't even clap. If you want to attend my coaching programs or whatever I do, you can talk to Sam and give your details. If you want my books, you can also talk to Sam and we'll see how they can be delivered to you. Sorry? That's what I'm standing here. Why are you whispering behind me? I'm here to take questions. That's why I stopped, Sam. It's very simple. Winning is a habit cultivated. What makes a winner is the habit. What makes a loser is a habit. It helps you to understand that better. What makes a champion? What are the principles that make a champion? What makes a champion different from the rest of the people? Somebody will practice for two years for one less than one minute performance. It's called Olympics. It all comes down to on your marks, get set, ready, go. At the time of go, you don't see nobody, but you see what you have worked for. An Olympic star with a medal did not get the medal that day. They wore the medal the day they said, I am ready to do whatever it takes to get to that place. What sacrifice are you willing to make? Everything I write is to challenge you. And the reason why I don't like so much volumes, not because I can't write volumes, is that you will not read it. How many books have you purchased that you've not even read past chapter one? And now you're so guilty when you see the book you want to read. <laughs> Can I get a witness say, ah, I see all of you will go to heaven because you just told the truth for the first time this year. So I'm ready for your questions. And also, you can like my page on Facebook. If you ask me for friendship, I will check you out. I will check if you're one of those that show your food. Ish, I'm eating. I don't need to know what you're eating. No, I'm not interested. And then some of you, you show your children's picture, right? Please withdraw your children from social media. Did you hear what I say? You know, sir, I saw the most stupid thing. Sorry, my life, I already said it. But I said it, and just stay with that. Somebody posted, you know when a woman goes to scan and they show a baby in the womb? Posted it on a social media. I said, who is this dumb human being? I'm serious. Why do you expose your child? Why is it still in the womb? Sorry? Why is it still in the womb? Do you think it's only human beings that are there? <laughs> or you think everybody watching you is normal? You go there and you put a picture of your child? Now you tell people how your child looks like? Then you go to Durban, you show a picture I'm in Durban, and they now don't see your child with you in Durban. They now know nobody's at home. You know, we need to wake up to some foolishness. Yes. Yes. Why do you show your new car on, on social media? Mm -hmm. Who needs to know about your car? It's a sign of low self-esteem. Exactly. And you even show the plate number. <laughs> and you even have a personalized plate number. And you think you are doing so well. No, it's time to come home. Tell somebody it's time to come home. So even if you don't know where home is, call your father. Just to come home. Okay. Any question? I will take your questions. Wow, that's too fast. Okay, give it to her. 
canal. Suddenly, I have a traffic officer. <laughs> She's been there for me. Yes, I'm waiting. Hi, my name is Raineth. Your name is what? Raineth. When you hear Raineth, just shout and celebrate her. What's your name? Raineth. <laughs> yes, Raineth, ask me your question. I want to do public speaking. I believe I have. I want to do public speaking. But even if I prepare for it, every time I prepare and when I go to stage, I can't. What advice do you have for me? You need to come to the public speaking bootcamp, but I will tell you what to do immediately. You, you are focused more on yourself, your message, than what you have come to do. Nobody came to that place to watch you fail. They only came to the place to watch you succeed. People left their comfort zone so that you can educate them. It is actually wickedness not to give them the reason why they came. They came there to celebrate you. They came there to applaud you. Only few wicked people are there to watch you fail. But majority are there to support you. So when you get there, give them that. And the sign that you also confuse them, you're going to be in a hurry. Relax, be comfortable. Nobody here will say you know me one on one. But I have to be so comfortable that we can even laugh together without you knowing me from Adam. That's because of skill. All right? So, but you need to go to a school for it. I'm not joking. Whatever I do, I go to be educated. I go to be educated. I don't just do this, try to, they try to know. I don't play uh, my chance when it comes to things I need to know. I gotta do it right. Otherwise, you end up as a summer Yeah, next question. <laughs> Somebody behind me. Um, good afternoon. I'm Vicky. Just wow. say hi, Vicky, and celebrate her. My question is, you have emphasized so much on habits. So can you please tell me maybe seven habits for the successful people like you or for your seven habits so that I can learn from? Well, there are so many, but let me begin. Number one, I always believe I don't know and I keep trying to know. Number two, you will not catch me in bed Five o'clock in the morning. Latest four o'clock, I'm awake and I'm getting my day ready. How many have I given? Two. Number three, I surround myself with people smarter than me. How many have I given? Three. Number four, I develop my emotional capacity to handle the shock of rejection. Because the sign you are doing something that somebody is saying no to you. If you're sitting at home, nobody saying no to you. How many have I given to you? Number five, I try to be healthy. I do so much to take sugar out of what I eat. I do so much to go to the gym at least two times in a month. <laughs> You want me to lie? <laughs> I cut down on my cap. I try to eat the things that make me strong. Because if you're not healthy, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. You will not succeed. How many have I given to you? The next one is... The Number six, I've given you six? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter how many there are still many to die. <laughs> the next one I do is I compete with my potential, not with anybody. I compete with my potential, not with my neighbor. How many have I given you? Six. I've given you six now, or seven. Six. I, it doesn't matter how many I've given to you. I treasure and respect relationship and I follow protocol. 
Whatever you're going to be in life is connected to relationship. When there is no respect for relationship, there will be trouble. The reason why I'm here today on Thursday is that he took advantage of our relationship. <laughs> what are friends for if not for inconvenience? Yeah. Yeah. So if there's no relationship built over time, there's no way I'll be here on Thursday because I already have a speaking program scheduled today. But relationship can change things. The question is, who would you go out of your way to support them to do what they want to do and succeed, even though it hurts you? That's relationship. Most people will grow old very lonely because they've cheated everybody around them. There's nothing as bad as people come to you because of what they're going to take out of your life. And always notice the kind of people I'm talking about. They are the ones that when things are not going well, they don't call you anymore. That's why sometimes God allows things to happen so you know you're real friends. I've answered your question. Yeah. I should continue. No, I tell my problem. She must attend the program. Yes, sir. And you. You've been given instructions, you know that here. Okay. There's actually one starting today for the next three months. If you actually want to jump on that wagon, you can be part of that. That means you just follow me immediately, I'm done. Just pretend like I'm a star, jump, run after me. Excuse me, excuse me. Then I'll say, what is it, what is it? As if I'm not interested. <laughs> Look, the reason why you join program like that is that, they say, iron sharpen iron. Yes. You meet the kind of people you want to meet. Yes. yes. So if you want to be part of that, it's starting today. Today is just orientation. After orientation, they will think kick stuff from next week. So if you want to join, still, you can meet me immediately after, and I'll tell you the price. You can make a deposit immediately, and because I'm here today, I'm actually going to give up to 60% discount. Yeah. Now the shock is what is the 60% discount? <laughs> It is worth whatever it is worth. Amen, sir. Yes, next person. Um, hi, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Level. Hi. Hi. So my question is really, uh, you spoke on where do we see our bank account in a year from now, and you said we're probably overestimating the amount that we see. Then you spoke about planning, and, and that's really what my question is, I think. What I found in this entrepreneurial space is that a lot of the people don't really know what they're doing. They're learning as they're going. So you're making a lot of mistakes as they're going. And you can't really afford, you know, you were speaking about a plan of who's going with you, who's holding your hand, um, what do you foresee as possible problems. So you don't really have somebody that's helping you along the way, that's coaching you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, that's helping you. So you're, you're finding, you're, you're trying to find your way. Um, and as an entrepreneur, I can't really afford, I don't know what the 60% is, but I'm almost sure that I can't afford the 40%. You see, that is the biggest problem. Now, let, let's begin from there. To start with, you're already rejecting yourself. Yeah. You're already appealing, and you are saying, I'm not good enough, I don't have it. And you are also saying, I'm not getting it right. And you'll be going around the circle on hold down, my darling. Yes, and you'll be going around the circle experiencing the same thing. It is time to say, hold on. Let me invest and know what to do next. Let me say something for the, how many of you are into business? Say I. Uh, let me tell you the, the cardinal things that you gotta get right. One, how you position. Two, I will explain them quickly. Two, how you package. Three, how you market. Four, how you get paid. Number one, are you positioned? Number two, are you packaged? Number three, are you market? Number four, how do you get paid? If any of this is missing in your business, you will sink. How do you position? If, for instance, I'm a speaker, do I position as a trainer? Do I position as just a motivational speaker? Do I position as a speaker, as an author, and as a trainer? So if I package, my packaging will reflect how I position. And when I market, I market based on 
these two things. And as I move, I've defined my worth in the market. And I'm ready to wait until I get my result. But how did you get here? Somebody somewhere had to teach you the secret you didn't know. Yeah. And that is why, even if you have to arrange with a coach, I want to pay you in five months. This is what I can afford. And this is what I put in. I say a lot of Africans, I'm sorry to say, don't have integrity. Mm. They pay one, they pay two, they run. Mm. And suddenly they begin to tell you what is wrong. Um, they even tell you their grandmother that who died in 1970. <laughs> <laughs> the reason behind that is that we want an excuse outlet. I said to Harvard, I don't have all the money, but can you, they say, no sir, if you don't pay anything, you're not coming. And I said, God, I need your help. And then he said to me, there is somebody, I'm a, I, I pray a lot, you know. there is somebody that is owing you. Even though the company has not been paid, but if you tell him what you're about to do, he will give it to you. And I called him and I said, S Y Z. His name, a lot of you know him. His name is Dr. David Molako. And I said, Dr. T, I'm doing this. I'm about to do. I'm about to do this. Is it possible to? He said, Of course. Can I have their details? And the money was paid. I tell you, I don't know whether you're Christian. I don't know what you worship. I celebrate whatever you worship. I, I, I believe in God, right? Now, the problem is not that God will not provide. The problem is. What will you do with the provision? Yes. I knew that the money coming was for my empowerment. Yes. So it didn't matter whether the car had petrol or not. It will not go into the car because it becomes wrong priority. Yes. When I cried and I meant it, help came. I was able to move into the place. I never believed it's impossible to get it. That's why when I coach people, I coach you to be 10 times better. i give you an example because if you doubt it, you come to where I'm working with executives, you can just come and visit and see. One of them for six months where she didn't have a job and she said, I want to join your station. Six months, no job. All she got was no, no, no. And then she joined. I was driving and I felt like I needed a call. And I called, I said, you're sounding funny, what's going on? I said, I'm going for another interview. I said, whoa, 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 stop. I said, what you're projecting is rejection, rejection, rejection. As I was driving, I coached and I prayed. I was done with my meeting and the phone call came. She got her first yes after so many months. She was with a big beverage company, which I'm not going to mention, they are not advertising. <laughs> last, last week, she sent me a picture with a new badge. The company is a conglomerate company. They have merged all their companies together. Guess who is now their marketing <coughs> manager? This lady. I coach you to be 10 times better. And how do I coach? Education, experience, being mentored. Some of you, this may offend you, but that is my secret, Holy Spirit and prayer. This combination never go wrong for me. Forget my English, I'm a prayer warrior. I take my time to seek God. Every religion, every society, seek a particular entity for success. I know it's almost time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they all seek something. So many of you don't know that business is spiritual. You think it's a joke. <laughs> Somebody has burned candle all through the night and you slept through the night and you're going for the same presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Next question. You, you, you see, there are many questions now. The last okay. One, the last 
Okay. No, can I take her also? She's okay. been participating. Okay. okay. Two, yeah, two, yeah. Two. Oh, what's your, sure. What has she done to you? <laughs> I'm joking. Yes. Uh, thank you for the uh, inspirational words. I hope um, 48 hours from now I do do something. Um, I wanted to just ask, um, you know, sometimes along the way we're human, you develop yourself, you, be, you remain positive and things like that, but sometimes you get discouraged. How is it during those moments you still remain positive? What do you do? Do you have any like specific things that you do to remain positive and just keep going no matter the obstacles and challenges that you face? There must be somebody in your life, a coach or mentor you can call. This thing is not working. And the person will tell you the road you are traveling have traveled. Every road you will follow, somebody has already gone there. Find who has gone there. The road to Cape Town, somebody has traveled. That's why you can find a way there. Find them in their, in their books. Find them in library. Find them in their seminar. Find them in their audio books. Find them in the books they've written. You will find the way there. There's nothing new under the sun.